What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We're going to talk about Chroma, and uh, we're going to talk about basically how I play it. Okay, uh, it <laughs> it's just probably like my 30th time trying to put a video together. Just as FYI, uh, trying to explain it all to you, it's just too time consuming to try to explain this whole frame to you. It is very complex. Uh, in the simplest terms, you're going to build it based off of your playstyle and based off of what element you're using. So heat, electric, toxin, or cold, which of course is based off of the color of energy that you use on your frame. My favorite two are heat and cold. 90% of the time I'm going to use heat, 10% I may use cold. I don't really care for the electric or toxin buffs that come with this frame. With that said, I'm going to focus 100% in this video talking about my heat setup and how I'm running it with heat. Um, because that's where I'm at 90% of the time. So, Spectral Scream, yeah, you can shoot off uh, fire, basically. Um, and it's it's okay, it gets decent 200 base damage, 60% status chance. Uh, it is affected by power strength. Um, but I'm not going to really use Spectral Scream much, because it's just going to take energy drain, and it's slow, and... You know, it's just not not a ability that I care for. Same as the augment that attaches to that particular ability. It's just weak at best. So my focus is really on Elemental Ward and Vex Armor. And a bit on the Effigy on the Ultimate. Not too, too much on the Ultimate. Uh, because for me, how I play Effigy is for protecting a point on a mobile defense or defense. Uh, when I, a friend or, you know, a fellow player teammate gets into trouble I'll throw effigy up uh, while I'm trying to heal them if they've gone down that type of stuff or we get into those types of situations that's where I'm playing it most um, not really for something that I want to have on all the time because I don't want to have it on all the time it's it's an energy train hog uh, I think it takes like 10 energy per second to keep it running um and it's it's good we'll focus on it a little bit but not my main stay here of course my main is elemental ward with vex armor and since i'm using heat what i'm getting with elemental ward is i'm getting a, a base per second damage of 100 um yeah i'm getting a base health boost of 200 and i'll tell you about that here in a minute and a 10 percent status chance okay it is duration and range based duration is my main focus in the build and I've played around with it a lot to try to get this to where I wanted it to be. Um, and then, of course, the health boost for me is pretty cool. So when I'm low on health, if I ha don't have this active, I can hit this, and it'll give me 200 health back. If I'm at max health and I hit this, I can get a 200 health on top of my max health. So that's how I can go from an 830, I think, normally, or 800 normally, to just over 1,000 in terms of health. And I've I like it that way. I've got great armor as it is on here, and you'll see that in the setup in a bit. Um, and, and so I'm happy with that uh, as that is. Now this is again just affected by range and duration and what Elemental Ward does uh, with the AOE effect around you and any uh, friends that are there close enough to your range are going to get that AOE effect as well. Fully based off of what energy you're using what you know what you get out of it uh in terms of vex armor which i think is just awesome for him you get scorn and fury buffs okay scorn is gonna buff when your shields are hit and fury when your health is damaged um scorn increases armor to a maximum okay of 350 percent on just the commod alone and Fury increased on a maximum of 200 or 2.75 weapon damage increase just on the maxed out mod or the maxed out ability, I should say, alone. Uh, you've got duration and strength that are going to affect both of those. Well, uh, there's, the strength is going to affect the scorn and the Fury percentages, so you can really, really max them up there. Uh, like 500 dam uh, base armor boost and four or five. Uh, base damage multiplier so you can take anything that's out there in terms of a weapon and suddenly it becomes just awesome when you're running vex armor getting that enter that that increased weapon damage buff on here um and since he has the highest armor pool 
of all Warframes. Uh, you can imagine that the buff on there is just crazy. I'm not going to get into pure numbers because it's just... You can figure it out on your own. Um, so that's why I'm really, really liking this one. Um, now with Effigy, and here's the thing. So you've got to build in some kind of um, efficiency, of course, because you're sucking out energy. And they've made sure that in this, when you've got an Effigy active, you cannot gain energy back through Team Energy Restores or Energy Siphon. The only way to do so would be to have Energy Orbs, um, Rage Mod, Energy Vampire from, say, Trinity on, uh, and even, like, Rift Plane or uh, any of that stuff from Limbo that can actually give you back energy, okay? Um, a, a Chroma itself is also immune uh, when Effigy is active to Eximus Energy Drains while the Effigy is being channeled. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, just keep that in mind. However, there is a downside. Of course, between the energy sucking away, uh, the other downside is your armor is reduced. Okay. And uh, you do gain a movement speed of like 20%, but your armor is reduced by half, by 50%. So whatever your armor is, is about to get reduced when it's active. But of course, you can offset that by having the Vex armor active at the same time. So there's kind of like, uh, let's say I've got a 630 base armor. If I take this down, now I got 300 and something base armor. But if I've got Vex armor active and I'm getting that Vex armor boost uh, on the the shields, the scorn boost, I'm bringing my armor back up. So you can see there's a lot of little calculations and a little things in here to think about. Now with Effigy, you're getting a base damage of 400, base health of 8,000, and you get some credit chance bonuses and all that crap, but, you know, no real big deal here. Uh, strength is going to affect the health and damage output, um, and anything else is not really... I mean, the only other thing you have to focus on here is efficiency. Uh, range doesn't affect anything, and strength doesn't change your credit multipliers, none of that stuff. So, with that said... Let's go ahead and get over to the build, and I'll kind of talk to you about how I've got the build set up uh, so you can understand a little bit more there. All right, let's get into here. Let's talk about him. Uh, his head gets in the way here on my screen, but this is where I'm at. I'm two former. I'll probably end up with three former just so I can eventually fill out steel fiber. As you can see on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got armor at 630, health at 740, um, power at 600, Shields of 300, stamina is 100. We've got duration at 181%, power efficiency at 130. Range is actually down to only 46%, not my focus here. Power strength at 130%. Uh, if I add another um, format in here, I'm going to change a couple things around. I'll kind of try to explain that to you. So, I had to use Energy Siphon. I had to change that out. That, that was a necessity for this. Um... Prime Flow is a necessity to this, to have as much energy pool as I can. I'm currently running narrow-minded, 81% duration, with a 54% negative range, but I'm not worried about range on here, because really, Elemental Ward is the only thing that's affected in this range portion, and it's not really a big deal, so it just becomes a soloing type of, of AoE effect, basically. Um, but I'm getting 45 seconds on my Elemental Ward and Vex Armor. So I'm not using a lot of energy when that happens. Streamline is where I'm at. 30% energy efficiency. It helps out just, just enough. It's nothing nothing crazy. We've got Vitality, of course, maxed out. 440% health increase, giving us a 740. And, of course, when we're using Heat, we're going to get that, that extra health on top of that. So you can see that increase being good. Uh, Steel Fiber, 80% right now. I've just never maxed it out. Um and uh, but you can imagine when i get this maxed out how much better that will even be now intensify basic intensify i had transient fortitude on here and that was fine for me i got a little bit of extra strength but because of where i'm at in terms of forma and whatnot i just put regular power strength and regular power strength is more than enough i'm using rage to convert uh 40 of damage on my health to energy and of course you know that's that's going to happen with uh, when it's damaging your your armor as well um 
based off of the way the mechanics of the game are basically giving you your armor is really converted into health so having rage on here is going to keep my health pool up most of the time and will work out well when I'm running effigy and I'm running rapid resilience at a 62.5 percent because I just don't have the extra capacity right now uh, and that is perfect for me anyway so I'm reducing duration of procs on myself by 62 and a half percent and that allows me to do things like melee even more and such so it's actually a pretty simple setup and hopefully you understand how this is with the 45 seconds really my effect of playing in on elemental ward and effig uh, and, and vex armor um, I'm getting enough energy from streamline with rage to keep the effigy up and running for a while um, and I'm able to obviously have such a nice health uh, power pool that that I'm good with that I'm sorry I can't talk I, I just don't know anyway this is my current setup like I said I'll probably go three forma in and that is basically to max out rapid resilience and steel fiber I have never gone any higher on narrow-minded than this and I don't really intend to ever go any higher than that because the negative effect is just too much after this point for me on any of my builds uh, so that's that's where I'll keep it at if you don't have narrow-minded just as FYI if you've got a max constitution and a maxed out prime continuity you will get the same 45 seconds but of course it's going to affect uh, you needing to have two slots and I mean if you're going to take two slots you know take out rapid resilience and narrow-minded and now you've got two slots open for your durations uh, comments questions like I said below and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully it was informative for you. And until then, we'll see you soon.